Good morning. You may notice I'm hiking and not taking a zero again. Um, I miscounted the number of days. I counted nights instead of days and told my husband to pick me up at a trailhead at the other side of the whites. And I will not make it if I take a zero. So I'm hiking today. Uh, good news is this is the best. I got a ton of sleep yesterday, which had been eluding me. And this is the best I have felt in some time. So I am still sore, knees still ache, but significant improvement. Let me walk past this boat down. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm headed up into the presidentials from Pinkham Notch. And toughest part of the trail, they say. So here we go. Trail this morning, nice and wide. Obviously all uphill as it will be all day today and all morning tomorrow. But should be good. Uh, sticks just past me, happy feet right behind me. And SWAT had, um, he had a package coming. So he's gonna start around noon. Um, the package is supposed to be delivered this morning at 8.30. So he should catch up to me, he's pretty fast. And that's our plan. So here we go, let's see some of the trail. So the trail this morning is um, a river because of the tropical storm. And I'm guessing tons of places up and down the AT are just like this today. So wet feet are happening. But no shortage of water for once. So normally we have probably a dry stream crossing here, but just a little bit damp due to all the rain. It's uh, water is definitely high today. So today's hike hasn't been too bad. Lots of wet and you know a little bit of up as we expected, but now it's kind of flat for a little bit. And I'm already halfway done, and it's 9:30, so. I'm definitely gonna go past that tent site. Um, I shouldn't say that, halfway down, halfway to the tent site. So, um, it's a really tough climb after that. And so I think if I can split it up into two days, it'll be the best thing for me. I had my first kind of negative experience with other through hikers today. The, um, they were both going southbound, and it was a guy and a, and a girl, and both significantly taller than me, and there was, it looked like we were gonna have to ford this river, and it turned out there was gonna be a bridge, but there was like a three trail junction, and they were really confused, and I said, no, it's this way, um, but there's no blazes in the Great Gulf Wilderness, and I explained that, and they were like, well, it's poorly marked. I'm like, well, it is what it is. So it's this way. And the woman was arguing with me on got hooks. So I said, hey, let me get out my paper map. So I got out my paper map and I showed her. And I said, no, it's, I, I think it's this way. Um, and so we got down there and we ran into somebody and they said, yep, AT's this way. So we go across the bridge and then it's, I don't know, maybe 10th of a mile later, there was a stream that I'm guessing is usually an easy dry hop across, but it was crazy rushing I should have taken a picture or something and the woman's like 5'10 the guy's a little shorter than her they barely made it across like it was so far between the dry rocks and there's no way I could have done it I tried and I was like I'm stuck and they both turned around and looked at me saw that I couldn't cross and turned around and left and you know it's it's going downhill it's cascading down and there's deep pools and I was just like no stream it wasn't super dangerous but it was enough like if i fell and hit my head i could have been seriously hurt um and there was i was not able to do a dry crossing i ended up having to crawl or crawl walk upstream and like kind of like crawl across this log and then jump out onto a rock and then from there i was able to cross at an area where it was only like knee deep but still like if someone's crossing a river you wait to make sure they get across okay even if you're not hiking with them and 
I had just helped you. How could you not wait two minutes to make sure that I got across okay? Um, so it just really put me in a funk. So I got to the Osgood tent site. I'm sitting here at the junction. I'm taking a long break. I took my shoes off. Um, I'm gonna keep hiking. If I find water, I don't wanna carry a bunch of water up. So if I find water up there, I'll probably camp right before tree line. If not, I'm gonna push on and do Madison today. And I do not wanna walk down to that campsite up there. It's a half mile off trail, but you know, it's noon, it's a beautiful day. I feel stronger than I have in the past month. And so I feel like, you know, if I can break up tomorrow, that'll just be better to do some of that. It's just gonna be super steep. Um, so if I can do some of that elevation today, I'll feel better tomorrow um, and not have such a long day. So that is what my plan is. And I'm just gonna shake that bunk off and get moving here in a few minutes. Going up Mount Madison. Haven't found any water yet, so I'm probably going to be going to the campsite that's a mile downhill from the hut. So we just saw a bear. Super excited. Definitely not dispersed camping now. Um, it just ran off into the woods, so I didn't get a good picture of it, but it was just exciting and fun to see, and that's why we're out here. All right, on to Mount Madison. On the way up to Mount Madison, above tree line, just a phenomenal view. Three hundred and sixty five degree views from the top of Madison. The presidentials are not going to disappoint, these are crazy. So another day and it is Mount Washington day. So I am stealth camping um, at an already created dispersed site um, down under tree line, um, kind of close, maybe like half mile from the Madison hut. I'm going to hike back up there and then fill up my water and head towards um, Mount Washington. It is really cold out. It's the first time I've used like all my cold weather like needed to zip up my sleeping bag etc just got water at the Madison hut and we are heading up that way to start our game you know wind as expected up here you know some big gusts that make it a little hard for little me to stand up but it's okay that's Mount Adams and as you can see the path is obviously really rocky up here so that definitely slows me down with my knees but slow and steady up to Mount Washington we go so coming across this ridge I couldn't take any pictures or video it was so windy it was actually pushing me over so now we're kind of shielded by this mountain here and we're going up there and over so I'm guessing uh, more wind it's, uh, it definitely makes a tough hike more challenging. Just got to like the easiest part of the trail I've seen all day, like by leaps and bounds. So I thought it'd be a good time to do a little filming. It's gorgeous. I'm trying to focus on that. The fact that not the fact that my knee is it feels like it's gonna explode. And and headed 
to the next hut. It is beautiful out here. residentials currently. Yesterday was um, outside of the 100 mile wilderness. Um, you know, I had a couple really bad days there and this was probably my, um, yeah, worst day. It, coming out of the Madison hut area, it was so windy um, and it kept knocking me over. Again, my knee was really hurting, and I thought it was an IT band issue, but I'm getting worried that it's something else because it hurts all the time now, no matter what kind of, like, if I put lidocaine on it, stretching, um, tons of Advil, and it's just not, like, it hurts to the point, like, I can barely bend my knee, um, and it used to be like, oh, if I was still hiking at seven, and then four, and then two, and this morning I woke up, and it hurts. Um, so that's a problem. Um, so I, by the time I got down to Lake of Clouds, I was just in tears. It hurt so bad. So I called, you know, this is where you really want a trail family and someone to kind of like see what you're actually going through, what the terrain looks like and help you kind of come to a decision. I thought about getting off at Mount Washington and seeing if I could get a ride down. I just... I do not want to quit. I want to keep going. Um, my desire to hike, even though I don't feel like hiking every day, my desire to hike hasn't um, waned in any way, but I can. I physically can't do it. So I'm just getting frustrated with myself and it's hurting. I mean, my pace is, it's like a turtle. It's so slow and I don't, I don't know what to do to get it better. So I am getting x-rays on my knee on Tuesday. It's Friday today. Um, so three days to hike to where Colin was going to meet me to pick me up. And then I was going to take a zero on Monday, but it looks like I'm going to take a zero on Monday and probably Tuesday as well. And then see where we're at. I will say that I'm really lucky to have a support system at home where I can call. And I mean, he picked up the phone and I was bawling. I like was hysterically crying. Um, it just, I was in so much pain and I was so frustrated that I had only hiked seven miles. I had six more to go and it was two o'clock in the afternoon. It was just like, ah. um, but you know, he got me all the doctor's appointments and just did what he could from home. And it's just, I really appreciate the, having that kind of support. Um, but it did make me really wish that, you know, I had more of the trail family out here. But that would require there to be more people. And there's not. <laughs> so, that's a bummer. Mm -hmm.